Good afternoon, I'm Faye Barker. There's more disruption to the BBC's football programmes today as the fallout continues over Gary Lineker's removal from Match of the Day. The broadcaster has been engulfed by an escalating crisis as other presenters and pundits refuse to work. Today, coverage of the Women's Super League has been scaled back and tonight's Match of the Day 2 is also expected to be affected. The controversy has boosted ratings, though. Last night's Match of the Day saw half a million more viewers watch it compared to last week. Graham Stothard has the latest. I'm going to walk my dog and I'm going to do my shopping, so would you mind letting me do it on my own? Gary Lineker this morning tight-lipped while leaving his home. As the storm surrounding the presenter's social media use grows, so too do questions about next steps both for him and the BBC. Although he stayed quiet, his son George spoke to the Sunday Mirror saying this week has been very overwhelming and I do think it's been hurtful for Dad. Will he go back to match of the day? I think so. He loves match of the day, but he won't ever back down on his word. Now on BBC One, we're sorry that we're unable to show our normal match of the day, including commentary tonight. The BBC's decision to sub their star presenter saw a number of his colleagues step aside too. Yesterday's match of the day, the show he presents, was broadcast but with no host, panel or commentary. Today's coverage of the Women's Super League is going ahead with commentary. Welcome to Kings Meadow for but no presenters. The government now demanding the BBC takes control of its bench. Well, I don't agree with his comments. But should he apologise then? Uh, you know, I personally think that he was wrong to say what he said. But if you believe in BBC independence, then it's not for the Chancellor or any other government minister to say how these issues are resolved. Last night, the programme at the centre of this storm did make it to air. The frenzied publicity actually saw half a million more people tune in compared to the previous week. Tonight's match of the day two will also be stripped back. But now, with Lineker not backing down and the BBC seemingly cornered, some are questioning if it's them who have scored the own goal. Graham Stothard, ITV News. Plans to boost the country's workforce will be announced in Wednesday's budget. The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, says he wants to bring over 50s, the long-term sick and disabled, and benefits claimants back to work. The government will also start paying for childcare support up front for parents on universal credit, rather than paying them back later. The demolition of two cliff-top homes in Norfolk is being completed today. Erosion caused by strong winds and high tides had left the properties in Hemsby near Great Yarmouth perilously close to the cliff edge. And two families who went for a walk had to be rescued after they were caught in poor weather in North Wales. North East Wales Search and Rescue said they had received simultaneous calls yesterday after the families had been walking on Wolvamai. And finally, the stars are gearing up for the Oscars tonight, where all eyes will be on the sci-fi epic Everything Everywhere All at Once. The multi-award winning film is a clear front runner, but faces competition from All Quiet on the Western Front and The Banshees of Inisherin, which has become the most Oscar-nominated Irish film ever, with nine nominations. That's the latest for now. Lucrezia Millerini will bring you the evening news at 6 o'clock from me for now. Bye-bye.